Hey guys, good morning. I'm visiting some family down here in Florida and I thought I'd show you guys this. Doing a little bit of maintenance, showing them how to unclog their air handler's drain pan. Okay, it's very notorious this happens down here in the south with all the humidity that it removes. Let me show you what I found. It's actually uh, pretty serious. Yeah, that's pretty serious too. Got some nice toys here. Okay, we got their air handler that's out here in the garage area. Okay, it's up overhead. I was simply gonna be using Viper pan treatment. This is a good product. It's nothing more than an enzyme that breaks down the mineral deposits and calcium and whatnot and sludge. So it goes out your drain. Um, I recommend spraying that monthly at this place. Now, as I was coming up here, first thing, I wanna disconnect power, okay? I wanna pull the disconnect handle. Well, as I flipped open the box, man. So what I did was I went down, I shut off the breaker. Then I shut off the breaker down below. Then I tried to get this out safely. Man, this thing needs replaced. Bit of a fire hazard, people. If only I had a GoPro. Stand too high on this ladder. Man, you can just see how that's melted. Look at that. It's a shame. Yeah, this thing's just gonna need replaced. Your guess is Ooh. that the old one, or do you believe it is a new one? Wow, that's really warped. Let me see if I can get this off here, people. Can you get that at a home store? Okay, guys, because I am not happy with how that looked up there, pulling those wires out, they were all melted off, okay? Typically caused high amp draw. Um, and what I found actually was loose connections. Uh, the aluminum got hot, cool, hot, cool, hot, cool, and basically loosened itself, most likely. Now, temporarily, because I have to run out, hopefully Home Depot has a disconnect I can use. I temporarily did it like this, using, this is like a split bolt method, okay? I'm gonna wrap electrical tape around here, but we are going to run in Home Depot and see if we can get the new supplies. Our breakers are back online. Condenser back on and running. Okay, now, uh, basically, your breaker is a safety prevents fires, but there are occasional fires that do happen. So sometimes breakers can fail, um, but that's what it's there for. It's a safety. Now those wires, I found they were loose inside of those split bolts that's in the disconnect. That disconnect is up next to the air handler, okay? It's just a connection point for the safety for the technician. So they don't have to go search for breakers and they know the power hey is guys, off. I'm back. I went up to Home Depot, was able to find a new disconnect, okay? Now, the disconnect is nothing more than a disconnect. It just breaks that connection to make it safe for service technicians to work on the equipment. Now, um, let me show you what I have. Okay, here is our old one, obviously. You can see how it's all burnt and charred up inside. Here was the old disconnect plug, all completely obliterated, okay? Now, set that aside. Here's our new one, okay? Pulls out. It's nothing than this, more than a set of jumper bars that go in between, okay? You're gonna want your 120 volt on one side. You put your other 120 volt on the other side. And then you got your other two that go directly to that air handler or to the condenser, okay? And all it's doing, it's separating it so you got 120, 120, then together is 240, okay? Now, um, I'm believing the old one had melted because of the connections were possibly too loose. When I pulled apart the old split bolts out of here, the wires just slid right out, okay? Heat, cool, heat, cool with those wires drawing load and whatnot and amps, they can basically get hot from amps. Now, what I did temporarily while running out, because here in Florida it gets rather warm, 
I did do the split bolts, okay? And this is temporary, okay? I put the split bolts on there and then I just wrapped it in electrical tape, so. And it actually served its purpose perfectly fine for us in this situation until I got this new one. So now I have to mimic uh, this old one and get her fixed. Okay, guys.